What is going on everybody? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first C++ tutorial. Now my guess is that if you're watching this video you probably already have a basic understanding of what C++ is but for those of you guys who don't C++ is a computer programming language. It's how you make computer programs, computer games, so if you're interested in making any of those then congratulations you're in the right spot. So before we just start opening any program and trying to write C++ code, I want to let you guys know that you need to download and install a few programs first. Now good news, all these programs are entirely free, but before we just go ahead and start installing them, let me tell you guys what they are and what they do. The first program that you're going to need is called an IDE. This is pretty much the program that allows us to write the code and run it. Aside from that, we need something called a compiler. Now, a compiler is basically the thing that translates the code that something that computer programmers can understand to something computers can understand. So, we're going to be typing code, and it's going to be easy for us to read and understand what's going on. But in order to transfer it to, or excuse me, translate it to a bunch of ones and zeros that the computer can understand, we need that compiler. So, with that being said, a lot of people download these separately. They download an IDE and then they download a compiler. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys a program that is going to allow you to download and install it all in one big shebang. So let's go ahead and open Google. And like I said, don't worry about paying for anything because this program is entirely free. So anyways, like I said, go ahead and open Google and type in code blocks and go ahead and press enter. Now the first link that's going to pop up is probably going to be for codeblocks.org. So go ahead and click that and this is the program that we're going to be downloading. So of course we need to find the download link. You can either click on this one on the left or this one on top. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and click on one of those and we see a couple options here. Download the binary release, download the source code or retrieve source code from SVN we're going to want to download the binary release. It's the easiest and most simple way to download this program code blocks. So go ahead and click download binary release and check it out. It gives us all these options. Now depending on what platform you're running, most of you guys will probably be running Windows, you're going to want to choose one of these options. But for those of you running Linux and they also have a Mac version down here, you might want to choose these. But for most of us, we're going to be running this on a Windows machine. So you're saying, all right, now we have it narrowed down to two choices, CodeBlocks 1005 Setup or CodeBlocks 1005 MINGW Setup. What we want to do is we want to download this second one, the one that says MINGW. Now this version 1005 may be different depending on when you're watching this tutorial and if they updated CodeBlocks, but make sure you get the one that says MINGW. The first one is the IDE, the second one, M MINGW, that MINGW means the compiler too. So when we download this, it's going to give us the IDE, and remember that's where we write the code, and the compiler as well. And remember the compiler is the program we need so the computer can understand what we're doing. So go ahead and you can either download it from Barely OS or so excuse me, SourceForge. Um, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to clink this, but... Oh, excuse me, I guess I'm phlegm in my throat. I just drank a Frutista Freeze from Taco Bell, and I ate a taco. And that is not a good idea, because they should call these things Brain Freezes, Brain Freezes, because that's all it does to you. Just freezes your brain in your throat, and... <clears> throat> And it puts a bunch of phlegm in your throat, but I can't stop drinking it. It's addicting. So anyways, go ahead and click this link from SourceForge.net. And go ahead and save the file. And whenever you save it and open it, a wizard's going to pop up. And you just have to click next like 80 different times. And then you have CodeBlocks installed. So I already installed it, so I'm not going to walk you guys through how to do that. Because it's really simple, and I'm not going to act like you guys are dumb and you don't know how to install things on your computer. So anyways... Once you have it installed, you have this program called CodeBlocks right here. Now you probably have it on your all programs, you might have it under CodeBlocks. What I like to do is right click it and just send it to desktop. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a nice little icon on your desktop. But anyways, 
once you have it installed just go ahead and double click it and we're going to run a really simple program just to make sure it's working correctly so go ahead it gives you these tips close them out what we're going to want to do is create a new project and you can either do that by creating this new project right here but what I like to do is I like to go up to the file menu and click new project now it's going to give you a list of a bunch of different projects you're going to want to create what we're going to want to choose is console application this is where you're going to be choosing most of the time this pretty much means a basic program for the computer so just go ahead and select this and press go and make sure you're working in C++. C is a totally different language we don't want that so C++ go ahead and click next and now name your project anything you want I'm going to name mine YouTube why not and you can save it wherever you want I might as well just save mine right on desktop it looks good but it really doesn't matter where you save it or even what your name your project just name it something that's easy to remember so go ahead and give your project title go ahead and click next and make sure you're using the GNU GCC compiler basically everything should be set up by default make sure your settings look the same as mine as long as you didn't hit anything by accident you should be good to go so go ahead and click finish and you see that nothing pops up by default and you're saying alright I thought we just created something so how do we see what we just created actually if you click this little plus sign next to sources it shows you that all the files it created for you automatically so go ahead and double click this main CPP and it shows you or in other words it brings up the file that it created automatically so this is actually the core basics of a very simple C++ program. We don't understand what anything means right now, but trust me, it's a very simple computer program that the only thing it does is it prints out hello world on the screen. So to make sure that everything is set up and running smoothly, let's go ahead and we need to do something called build and run this. Now I'm going to be talking about this later, but for now I just want to make sure that your computer is set up, you installed it and downloaded it properly. So go ahead and click this build and run icon right here it's with the little gear and the little green triangle so go ahead and click that and it should you know maybe flash a couple boxes but basically a box should pop up that says hello world and this is all that that program is basically it prints out hello world on your screen so if you build and run this and you get hello world it means that you downloaded it installed it and set up your project successfully so we are good to go so again I know you guys don't know what any of this means or even know how to code one line of code yet but I'm gonna be going over that in the future tutorials but for now that's all I have for you guys so thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial